My name is Bassi Ikbi. I'm a writer, spoken word artist, uh, founder of an NGO called The Seaway Project, and I do content development and presenting for television. I started doing, I started writing poetry when I was eight years old. Um, I started performing it when I was uh, 18 in university. And then when I moved to New York in my 20s, I became part of Russell Simmons' Deaf Poetry Jam. Um, and in between then, I was on a BET uh, teen talk show called Teen Summit, and that's what started my television life. What inspires what I write is the need to communicate. Um, I moved from Nigeria to the United States when I was four and I didn't learn to speak English fluently until I was about five years old. So there was a gap between losing my native language and learning English where I couldn't really communicate with people. And so when I started to learn to write and read English, um, ever since that moment, it was all about communication and being able to uh, understand people and having people understand what it is that, that I think about, what are the, the things that are going on in life, helping me understand the things that are going on in life. So uh, my inspiration is always just trying to get people to, to communicate and to understand each other. Some of my initial challenges uh, have to do with uh, mental health. I was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder in 2004 while I was on tour. And being able to sort of negotiate how to live a normal quote unquote life and uh, deal with, with, my, with my health issues has been uh, challenging, um, learning how to, to do that while I'm in Nigeria, learning how to do that while I'm, you know, very, very busy and working very hard to, you know, uh, get my NGO together and get my, my career um, back on track. It, it's been difficult, but it hasn't been impossible. I've had a fantastic response. I think that people are really open to uh, expressing themselves and I think that we sort of do a disservice to each other as Nigerians because we think that people don't want to hear about certain things when we didn't give them an opportunity to talk about those things so once I've, oh, I've seen that once that I've opened the door for people to, 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 to express themselves and to you know let other people know what they're going through they, they walk in and they and they sit down and make themselves comfortable and they definitely share the things that they've gone through and, and share uh, their triumphs and they've shared their tragedies and you know people really are more open than we give themselves especially Nigerians we don't give ourselves enough credit for being uh, open we think that we're very closed and, and tight and, and that's not the case at all we're very warm friendly uh, people compassionate people and I think that 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 um, people welcome the invitation to speak freely The best advice I've ever gotten was uh, never apologize for how you choose to take care of yourself. Um, that's helped me a lot because when you don't feel like talking or you don't feel like being social, uh, you feel like you need to apologize, oh I'm so sorry I can't, or I'm so sorry. And I've learned that you don't have to apologize. The worst advice I've ever gotten is, 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 is keep it all to yourself because people who bottle things up inside themselves don't have any place to put it and pretty soon something will get too heavy and it'll just collapse. So it's, it's better to be open and free. I think that's, that's the way that I've lived my life. My long-term goal uh, is to um, grow my NGO, to, to make it global so that it's, it's all over the world, not just in the US and not just in Nigeria. Uh, but then also uh, I want to uh, start a media uh, production company. A good friend of mine gave me some really good advice where he said that uh, you need to protect yourself and make sure that you stay yourself. I think it's very easy to sort of fall into a trap where you think you have to be very hard or very harsh or very, I think, I guess people say wicked in order to get ahead. And I don't believe that. I think that you can be kind and compassionate and, 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 and um, honest and have integrity and get ahead that way.